Welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy. I'm the host of the podcast. And the date is January the 12th, 2021. Happy New Year again uh, for those who are tuning in for the first time. Welcome back to my podcast where I talk about my favorite uh, topics on video games, uh, science fiction, fantasy movies, and other uh, geeky topics. And um, what I've been doing is... uh, Kind of a th- uh, tradition now that I've just started of past few weeks is uh, Tuesday. It's a late night Tuesday, actually. This is this is being recorded earlier on today. It's called uh, Text Adventure Tuesday, where I read and play my favorite text adventure games that many of us have grown up to it uh, when we were doing computer class or just at home. A lot of these really retro computer games. I force you to use your imagination. So sit back, relax, and we're going to uh, continue on our playing of Zork, A Troll's Eye View, an interactive tedium by Dylan O'Donnell, uh, Dylan W at Demon.net. Yeah. So we're continuing on where we left off. It's a very uh, interesting game. Very, It's very tongue-in-cheek. So let's just... Uh, we're going to get ourselves loaded up in just a few minutes and start the game. Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast Discussions on my favorite games, movies, TV shows, anime, comic books, collectibles, and other fun content for gamers and geeks. I'm your host, Jeremy. Welcome to the show. Back to the show. Uh, this is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. We're playing Zork, a Troll's Eye View. Every Tuesday uh, night, uh, late night, I play a retro text adventure game. I just read it out loud. I will provide some, this time I'm providing some video footage of the actual game. There's not much to see except text, black uh, screen and white text, but it's uh, maybe amusing and enjoyable for you to watch, bring, maybe bring back fond memories. We're playing Zork, a Troll's Eye View, a retro text adventure game. And every Tuesday night, we play a text adventure game late at night, um, near 12, about 11.30 to around 12 o'clock, 12.30, depending on how interesting the game is. And uh, perhaps, you know, a lot of people have said to me that my voice is very soothing, helps them go to sleep if they have insomnia. So if you don't find this game particularly exciting or entertaining, at least you should find it like a lullaby. Put some headphones on and sit back with your favorite cup of tea, herbal tea preferably, and uh, relax while you uh, listen on the couch or on the bed to me reading Zork, a troll's eye view. We're going to load the game we left off last episode. We played on the um, we played on uh, January 5th, 2021 and we're playing now on January 12th, 2021. Now we're just going to uh, Continue on the game. All right, so let's uh, continue where we are off. Look, look around. Um, look, the troll room. This is a small room with passages to the east and south, and a forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an axe, mar the walls. So let's look at look um, uh, move east you are unable to uh, move uh, east unable to west the passages uh, through there are twisty and all alike 
you don't want to get lost. So we're we're not actually doing exploring in this game. We're guarding a room so any adventurers that come along can meet their doom here. <laughs> uh, look. Move. Move. Move west. An adventurer strides from the south carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, she move, most unsportingly attacks you. The adventurer charges, but you jump nimbly aside. Uh, kill adventurer. This is the woman who killed me last episode. Adventurer. You swing near, nearly knocks the adventurer over as she barely parries in time. The adventurer's stroke lands, but it has only it was only the flat of the blade. Kill adventurer. The flat of your axe hits the adventurer delicately on the head, knocking her out. Oh wow, that's that's different. Look at adventurer. A nondescript woman characterized only by a seemingly motiveless determination to kill you. The adventurer struggles to her feet. Um, tie. Tie up adventurer. Tie her up. I only assume as one as you tie the ceiling. Tie ceiling. Oh, you would achieve nothing by this. A savage blow on the thigh. You are hurt, but can maybe still fight. Gosh, this woman's gonna... This woman is not uh, reasonable. Um, kill adventure. An axe stroke makes a deep wound in the adventurer's leg. It appears that the last that last blow was too much for her. She's dead. The body of the adventurer and all her possessions suddenly disappear in a puff of orange smoke. And so that's what happens in every with every adventurer that walks into my room. Basically, she or he um, disappears after they're dead. And all their belongings with them, so there's nothing even to look at. Uh, look. Troll room. This is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains and deep scratches, perhaps hit by an axe mar the wall. Okay. Move uh, south. You are unable to. A lean and hungry gentleman with a large bag just wandered through the room. From the looks of the bulges, he's had good pickings. Speak to lean and hungry. Gentlemen. can't see, speak um, speak to gentleman speak to adventurer look at gentleman look okay so it's basically grab um, attack, gentlemen. Um, lean and hungry. Take large bag. Okay, look, something else. He must have walked away. Move southwest. You're unable to. 
southeast. We're unable to. East. You're meant to guard this room, not the passageway. Move. West. Move. North. An adventurer strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. Clang, crash. You parry the adventurer's sword. Uh, kill, attack. Adventurer. An axe stroke makes a deep wound in the adventurer's leg. Clang, crash, you parry the adventurer's sword. Attack. Adventurer. The flat of your axe hits the adventurer delicately on the head, knocking him out. All right, uh, take. What do you want to take? Brass lantern, please. The adventurer struggles with his feet and manages to keep the lantern out of your reach. Hit. Hit. Adventurer. You, ch you charge and slash adventurer on his sword arm. It appears that the last blow was too much for him. He's dead. The body of adventurer and all his possessions suddenly disappears in a puff of orange smoke. There again. I can't even take any items from him. Is there a way to take a sword? It'd be cool if I could take his items. Move. East, move, west, move, northwest, move, southwest. You walk straight in the wall, doesn't really hurt, but that, but that doesn't get you very far either. Move, south, move, north, move. West, move north, uh, east, move west, move south. An adventurer strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eye is adjusted to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. You fall back against the ferocity of the adventurer's attack. Attack! Adventure. A savage blow on the thigh. You are hurt, but can still, but maybe still fight. You regain your balance. Attack. Adventure. Adventure jumps aside as your axe swe sweeps past him. Clang, crash, you parry the adventurer's sword. Attack. Adventure. You swing near, nearly knocks the adventurer over as he barely parries in time. The adventurer charges, but you jump nimbly aside. Attack. Adventurer. Your axe barely misses the adventurer's ear. Clang, crash, you parry the adventurer's sword. Attack. Adventurer. You swing your axe and it nicks the adventurer's arm as he barely parries. The force of the adventurer blow, blow knocks you back stunned. Parry. Attack. Adventure. The sword blow lands, making a shallow gash in your arm. You regain your balance. Kill. Adventure. The flat of your axe hits the adventurer delicately on the head, knocking him out. Look at adventure. The nondescript man, characterized only by a seemingly motionless, motiveless determination to kill you, the adventurer struggles to his heat. Take sword. The adventurer swings it out of your reach, slash, his blow lands. That one hit an artery, it could be serious. It appears that that last blow was too much for you. You have died. Now, 
Let's take a look here. No, I don't think you deserve another chance. You are only a troll, after all. You are still dead. In that game, you killed two adventurers in 65 turns. Would you like to restart, restore, or, or uh, a save game? I would like to restore, please. Okay. Look. The troll room. This is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an axe, mar the walls. Move west. Move east. Move. Move south. Move. They tell me I'm un unable to move either way. Move east. Move north. Unable to. Move north. West. Oh, an adventure strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. Slash, his blow lands. That one hit an artery. It could be serious. Attack, adventurer with axe. You see a hole in the adventurer's defense, and a lightning stroke opens a hole in his le left side. The sword blow lands, making a shallow gash in your arm. Hang on here. You see a hole in the adventurer's defense. And a lightning stroke holds a opens a hole in his left side. Okay. Attack. Adventure. Left side. Attack the adventurer. I only understand you as as far as wanting to attack the adventurer. Adventurer. You see a hole in Avengers defense and a lightning stroke opens a hole in his left side. It appears that the last blow was too much for him. He's dead. The body of adventurer and all his possessions suddenly disappears in a puff of orange smoke. That was pretty interesting. Can I heal? Heal. Look. Move south east. Move south east. Unable to move southwest. Unable to move north east. Move north. West. Move. <sighs> North. North. Um, southwest. Southeast. Okay, an adventurer strides in from the south carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. The force adventure blows knocks you back stunned. Attack brass lantern. Oh, excellent idea. Plunge the adventurer into darkness and take advantage of your superior dark vision to finish off the com combat quickly. Shame that he spotted your plan and snatched the lantern out of the path of your axe. Never mind. You'd only have you only you'd only have got into a quarrel with the grooves over the body anyway. You regain your balance. Or oh, the adventure strikes you on, on your arm, Icker begins to trickle down. Well uh, I thought I could take his brass lantern. Attack adventure. Your axe swings down, gashing the adventurer's shoulder. The adventurer's sword flashes out and connects painfully with your midriff. It appears that the last blow was too much for you. 
In that game, you killed one adventure in 38 turns. Restore, please. This time I have to uh, resave it. All right, look. This is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains and deep scratches, perhaps made by Nax, mar the walls. Move west. You are unable to. Move south. You are unable to. Move east. You are unable to. Move north. You are unable to. Move north, west. Able to move to forbidding hole. You can't see this. Thing. Look at forbidding hole. Look at west. You see nothing special but the west wall. An adventurer strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, she most unsportingly attacks you. The adventurer pinks you on the wrist, but it's not that serious. Kill adventurer. You see a hole in the adventurer's defense and a lightning strike stroke opens a hole in her left side. Lightning stroke. Slash, her blow lands. That one hit an artery, it could be serious. Kill adventurer. Reacts bashes in the adventurer's skull. The body adventure and all her possessions suddenly disappears in a puff of orange smoke. There you go. That was pretty easy. Can I save the progress now? Let's save as troll. One slash twelve slash. 2021 save save all right look it's a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west look at blood stains um, move Southwest. <coughs> move south, um, southeast. Are you able to move <coughs> northeast? Move northwest. Move east. Move north. You are an, an adventurer strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, she most unsportingly attacks you. You receive a deep gash in your side from the elvish from the elvish blade. Attack, adventurer, with axe. Your axe swings down, gashing the adventurer's shoulder. You fall back against the ferocity of the adventurer's attack. <coughs> attack, adventurer. Playing crash, you parry the adventurer's sword. You regain your balance. Attack, adventurer. You charge and slash the adventurer on her sword arm. It appears that the last slow blow was too much for her. She's dead. The body adventurer and all her possessions suddenly disappear in a puff of orange smoke. Let's save our progress. Yes. Okay, I've saved the game. Look. The troll room. This is a small room with passages to the east and south and four bedding troll uh, hole leading west. Bloodstains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an axe, mar the wall. Look at the troll room. Uh, move north. Move south. Unable to. Unable to. Move east 
move west, move southwest, do look at floor. You see nothing special about the floor. An adventurer strides in from the south carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. You receive a deep gash to your side from the Elvish Blade. Attack Adventurer. Your axe gets the adventurer's right, right in the side, but bet that hurt. Clang, crash, you parry the adventurer's sword. Attack Adventurer. What happened? Your axe crashes against the rock, throwing sparks. Slash, his blow lands. That one hit an artery. It could be serious. It appears that the last blow was too much for you. You have died. Now let's take a look here. No, I don't think you deserve another chance. You're only a troll after all. You are still dead. In that game, you kill two adventurers in 48 terms. Uh, let's restore, please. I think I have, not, have an idea what I'm supposed to do with this. I think I need to combine my attacks with parries. Look. West. Move. South. Move. South. West. North. East. The adventurer strides in from the south carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. The force of adventurer's blow knocks you back, stunned. Parry. Adventurer. Perry. Attack. Adventurer. Adventurer's swing misses you by an inch. You regain your balance. Kill. Adventurer. What? I died again? The adventurer jumps aside and his axe sweeps past him. Slashes below lands. Restore. Let's try, um, look, west, south, north, east, southeast, northeast. You walk straight into a wall, doesn't really hurt, but doesn't get you far either. The adventurer strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, she most unsportingly attacks you. The adventurer pinks you in the wrist, but it's not serious. Attack, adventurer. The flat of your axe skins across the adventurer's forearm. The adventurer strikes you on the arm. Icker begins to trickle down. Kill, adventurer. Your back swings down, gashing the adventurer's shoulder. It appears that the last blow was too much for her. She's dead. The body of the adventurer and all her possessions suddenly disappear in a puff of orange smoke. A seedy-looking individual with a large bag just wandered through the room. You idly wonder whether you'll recoup your losses with him and the other lads at poker tonight. Attack. Who do you want to attack? Seedy-looking individual take what do you want to take large bag okay look small room with passages the east and south west Passages through there are twisty and all like. 
You don't want to get lost. North. You walk straight into a wall. Doesn't really hurt, but doesn't get you far either. East. You're meant to guard the room, not the passageway. Guard room. I only stand as far as you want to guard. Guard. And a fine figure of a guard you look. East. Northeast. Uh, Northwest. We're going to go straight to a wall. Doesn't really hurt, but doesn't get you far either. Southeast. Um, northeast. Okay, you walk straight into a wall. Doesn't really hurt, but doesn't get you far either. An adventurer strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportly attacks you. The adventure pinks you in the wrist, but it's not serious. Attack brass lantern with axe. Oh, excellent idea. Plunge the adventure into darkness and take advantage of your superior dark vision to finish off the combat quickly. Shame that he spotted your plan and snatched the lantern out of the path of your axe. Never mind. You only have got got into a you would only have gotten to a quarrel with the grooves over the body anyway a mighty sword blow hits you with them by a mile attack adventurer the adventurer jumps aside as your axe sweeps past him you fall back against the ferocity of the adventurer's attack defend guard um, defend not a verb I recognize. Attack, adventure, clang, crash, you parry the adventure's sword, you regain your balance. Attack, adventure, an axe stroke makes a deep wound in the adventure's leg. Slash, his blow lands. That one hit an artery. It could be serious. Oh no. Kill, adventure. Your axe gets the adventure right in the side, but bet that hurt. The adventure strikes you on the arm. Icker begins to trickle down. Kill adventure. Your axe swings down, gashing the adventure's shoulder. It appears that the last blow was too much for him. He's dead. The body of the adventure and all his possessions suddenly disappear in a puff of orange smoke. Look at room. Look. The troll room. Uh, this is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an axe, mar the walls. Northwest. Northwest. Look straight to a wall. Southwest. Straight to a wall. Northeast. Straight to a wall. Southeast. North. East. W west. Uh, south. You're meant to guard this room, not the cellar. Adventure strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. With your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. The adventurer's stroke lands, but it was only the flat of the blade. Attack, brass lantern. Ah, still no good. A savage blow in the thigh. You are hurt, but still can still make it fight. Still fight. It appears that the blast blow is too much for you. In that game, you killed four adventures in 73 turns. Am I supposed to get 73 turns of this? Oh my gosh. I keep track of this here. How many times have I... Uh... Store. All right, look north, 
west, south, east, north, west, east, north, west. You walk straight into a wall, doesn't really hurt, but doesn't really get you far either. Adventure strikes from the south, carrying a brass lantern. Attack. Adventure. Jack swings down, gashing the adventurer's shoulder. You receive a deep gash in your side from the elvish blade. Attack. Adventure. You charge and slash the adventurer on her sword arm. It appears the last blow was too much for her. She's dead. The body adventure and all her possessions suddenly disappear in a puff of orange smoke. Okay, let's save this game as... Uh, Troll. I think that's 74 moves. Or 73 moves. Look. Small room. East. West, north, south, northwest. You walk straight into Adventure strides it from the south carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. You fall back against the ferocity of the adventurer's attack. Attack Adventurer. Adventure charges, but you're still jump nimbly aside. You regain your balance. Your attack is ineffective. Attack Adventurer. He charged and slashed Adventurer on his sword arm. Slashes below lands. That one hit an artery. It could be serious. Attack Adventurer. Ah, you have died. Your axe crashes against the rocks, throwing sparks. You receive a deep Flash. Okay. Okay, in that game you killed three adventurers in 57 turns. Uh, restore. Just a few more minutes, folks, and I'm going to be calling quits for tonight. West, south, north, east, northwest, northeast. An adventurer strides in from the south carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, she most unsportingly attacks you. A savage blow on the thigh, you are hurt, but you can still fight. Attack, adventurer. Died again? Oh man. Restore. Look. West, south, north, east, south, west. I wonder if there is a walkthrough for this game. I'll have to look it up another day. East, north, south, southwest, northwest. The adventure strides into the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, he most unsportingly attacks you. You receive a deep gash in the side of your elvish blade. From the elvish blade. Kill adventure. You land a killing blow. The adventurer is dead. The body of the adventurer and all his possessions suddenly disappear in a puff of orange smoke. A lean and hungry gentleman with a large bag just wandered through the room. You oddly wonder whether you'll recoup your losses with him and the other lads at, at poker night. Speak to gentlemen. Speak. Look at 
that. Gentlemen. East. West. Let's save our game. So I can make some progress. Save it as lean and hungry man. One dash twelve dash twenty twenty one. West. Now I saved where I left off. Let's just look all twisty and all like you don't want to get lost. Northwest. Northeast. South East South West Northwest You adventure strides up in the south carrying a brass lantern. Spotty you, she darts back into the cellar. Oh, that's different. Your orders don't cover this eventuality. Best to stay put. She'll probably be back soon. We're not supposed to hunt people, we're just guarding. I'm actually making progress in this game. Let's save our game as Adventurer Darts Back into the cellar. So at least I can know where I left off. West, south, east, north, south, southwest. The adventure strides in for the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, she most unsportingly attacks you. The adventure sword flashes out and connects painfully with your midriff. Oh no. I'm not going to let that go by easily. Kill adventurer. You charge and slash the adventurer on her sword arm. You receive a deep gash in your side from the elfish blade. Kill adventurer. Your axe swings down, gashing the adventurer's shoulder. It appears that the last blow was too much for her. She's dead. The body adventurer in all her possessions suddenly disappears in a puff of orange smoke. Save for progress. Uh, troll. Mid. Mid riff. Attack, uh, midriff injured. Okay. West. North. Southwest. East. Northeast. Southeast. Southwest. Northwest, northeast, northwest, east. The adventure strides in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, she most unsportingly attacks you. You receive a deep gash in your side from the elvish blade. Kill adventurer. The flat of your axe hits the adventure delicately on the head, knocking her out. Look at Adventurer. A nondescript woman, characterized only by a seemingly motiveless determination to kill you. The adventurer struggles to her feet. Attack. Adventurer. What happened now? Your axe crashes against the rock, throwing sparks. You receive a deep gash in your side from the elvish blade. It appears that the last blow was too much for you. Restore, please. Okay, 
look west, south, northeast, northwest, east, south, west, southwest. I'm getting anywhere yet. Southeast. Walks through the wall. An adventure strolls in from the south, carrying a brass lantern. While your eyes adjust to the sudden light, she most unsportly attacks you. The adventure strikes you on your arm. It begins to trickle down. It appears that the last blow was too much for you. Oh, great. In that game, you killed five adventurers in 87 turns. Restore. Look west. Move west. East. Southwest. Southwest. South. 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 Oh man, Avenger strides in the south carrying a brass lantern. Ah oh, man. It keeps attacking me. I'm actually going I'm going too close to the south. They always come to the south, so this time go north. Look, control north. North, 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 north. north. Your strides in the south carrying a brass lantern while your eyes adjust to sudden lightning most of sporting attacks you. It's curtains for you as the adventure sword removes your head. <laughs> Look here, I don't think you deserve another chance. Uh, on that note, I think we're going to take a little break, gamers. I think I've played just about enough of this game. Um, it's a really, uh, it's very unique, but really frustrating. There's not much you can do as a troll. There's nothing really creative or, or really outrageous that I can do as a troll. Like, all I can do is just defend the room, and maybe if I'm lucky, I can kill some adventurers and they disappear in a puff of smoke but there's no real payoff i i don't know if i'm going to continue this game if you leave comments either, either on my podcast video gamers oasis playful podcast or on my youtube channel video gamers oasis on youtube leave a comment below should i continue this game on to, uh, or should i play a different text adventure game next time i'm planning um to t maybe take a break from this game and play the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy text adventure game, the original classic. Let me know if you'd rather me, uh, hear me play that game rather than this game, because it's, it's giving me a bit of a headache, and I don't know what more I need to do to advance in this game. It's really, really, really repetitious. There's not a lot of a, a variety. I mean, it's fun for a while. It was kind of cute playing the tr the monster or the, the, the villain for a change, but after a while, it gets pretty repetitive. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Do you think I should do this game, or con or continue with, uh, or can start playing uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy text adventure game? Leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. Appreciate if you would subscribe to my podcast, Video Gamer Oasis Play Theater on Anchor.fm, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube. Click the notification bell to be notified of future videos. I'm Jeremy. You're what you're watching and listening to depending on the media video gamers always is playful podcast i'm jeremy thanks for watching take care of each other and check out my app. the links below and we'll talk to you again again another day we'll, we'll have some interesting this topics to talk about in the future uh one of them is i've just recently finished uh, season two of the mandalorian and um without revealing too much i think it was delightful really delightful i love what they're doing with the star wars universe i love what jean favreau is uh john favreau is doing with it really feels like a star wars movie so we'll be talk about that in the future take care of each other and stay healthy and eat nutritious food and take care of your body take care of your loved ones and we'll see you again in the future thanks for watching folks i'm jeremy and you're listening to video gamers oasis playful podcast till next time bye
Hi, this is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast, VideoGamersOasis.com, and Video Gamers Oasis on Twitch. You know, when I'm in the middle of a very uh, stressful game, we're requiring a great deal of problem solving, or I'm just at my computer doing a lot of hard work, I require a great deal of energy and focus. And all of that energy and focus can get drained very quickly. That's why I, I'm proud to, uh, to announce that I'm presently just started uh, to promote a new product that I'm sponsored and affiliated with God Mode Energy and Focus from Pyre. New Tropic Energy and Focus. God Mode was designed to enhance your ability to focus and perform through powerful new tropics and brain boosting nutrition, caffeine included, for an extra boost of energy. Improved reaction time, stronger focus, reduced mental fatigue, cognitive benefits, sustained attention, response, inhibition, speed of information processing, cognitive flexibility and control, multiple simultaneous attention, working memory, category formation, pattern recognition. The flavor that I chose for my uh, streams, at least for the time being, is the, uh, I've chose the flavor, Lethal Lemonade. It's a very delicious uh, citrus flavor. And I mix it in my special cup that, that I uh, have ready for me in every video stream. Give it a good shake. And then I guzzle it down whenever I need that refreshing blend of nutritious ingredients. The, I would highly recommend that you get yourself a God Mode Energy and Focus, regular price, price $55. Coupon code is Video Gamers Oasis. You get a significant 10% discount or more. Make sure to go to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash BIT dot L-Y forward slash three r-o-p-n-g-i and don't forget to get the pyre shaker cups bpa free regular price sixteen dollars and 99 cents coupon code video gamers oasis http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot l y forward slash three r-o capital c m i s this makes a great gift for that special uh, streamer in your life check out god mode energy and focus video gamers oasis website youtube channel